Good evening. Welcome to the May 2nd edition of the Downers Grove Village Council meeting. It's great to see so many faces on such a special evening. As is our custom, we'll begin our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Rosa, would you please call the roll? Mayor Barnett? Here. Commissioner Jose? Here. Commissioner Wallace? Here. Commissioner Sadowski Fugit? Here. Commissioner Colvaney? Here. Commissioner Gilmartin? Here. Commissioner Glover? Here. Welcome, everybody. Item three on our agenda tonight we have a couple of proclamations starting off the month of May. The first has to do with Historic Preservation Month. Whereas historic preservation is an effective tool for revitalizing and sustaining neighborhoods, fostering local pride, and maintaining a sense of place while enhancing livability, and whereas historic preservation is relevant for communities across the nation, both urban and rural, and for Americans of all ages, all walks of life, and all ethnic backgrounds, and whereas it is important to celebrate the role of history in our lives and the contributions made by dedicated individuals in helping to preserve the tangible aspects of the heritage that has shaped us as a community. Whereas Downers Grove has many historic places worth seeing, saving, and celebrating that provide an integral link and visible reminder of our past. Whereas the Village of Downers Grove established the current Historic Preservation Ordinance in December of 2015, providing residents and businesses alike an easy, no-cost opportunity to landmark historical sites. Whereas People Saving Places is the theme for Historic Preservation Month 2023. Whereas Historic Preservation Month 2023 is an occasion for celebrating the historic place savers that pour their time, energy, and resources into protecting places they care about, often without recognition. And whereas People Saving Places is a national effort to recognize everyone doing the great work of saving places in ways big and small while inspiring others to do the same. Now, therefore, I, Robert T. Barnett, Mayor of the Village of Downers Grove, do hereby proclaim May 2023 as Historic Preservation Month in the Village of Downers Grove and encourage residents and businesses to get engaged with our local historical society, visit and tour historic sites locally and when traveling, and help build awareness and share your love of historic places on social media using Pre Preservation Month and Saving Places hashtags, dated the second day of May 2023. The second proclamation tonight. This has to do with Building Safety Week. Whereas the village of Downers Grove is committed to recognizing that our growth and strength depends on the safety and economic value of the homes, buildings, and infrastructure that serve our citizens both in everyday life and in times of disaster. Whereas our confidence in the resilience of these buildings that make up our community is achieved through the devotion of vigilant guardians, building safety, and fire prevention officials, architects, engineers, builders, tradespeople, design professionals, laborers, plumbers, and others in the construction industry who work year-round to ensure the safe construction of buildings. And whereas these guardians are dedicated members of the International Code Council, a nonprofit that brings together local, state, and federal officials that are experts in the built environment to create and implement the highest quality codes to protect us in the buildings where we live, learn, work, and play. Whereas our nation benefits economically and technologically from using the international codes that are developed by a national voluntary consensus code and standards developing organization. Our government is able to avoid the high cost and complexity of developing and maintaining these codes which are the most widely adopted building safety and fire prevention codes in the world. Whereas these modern building codes include safeguards to protect the public from hazards such as hurricanes, snowstorms, tornadoes, wildland fires, floods, and earthquakes. Whereas the Building Safety Month is sponsored by the International Code Council to remind the public about the critical role of our community's largely unknown protectors of public safety, our local code officials, who assure us safe, sustainable, energy efficient, and livable buildings that are essential to America's prosperity. Whereas It Starts With You is the theme for Building Safety Month 2023, encouraging all Americans to raise awareness and the importance of building codes in ensuring safety on personal, local, and global scale. Whereas each year in observance of Building Safety Month, people all over the world are asked to consider their commitment to improve building safety, resilience, and economic investment at home and in the community, and to acknowledge the essential service provided to all of us by local and state departments, fire prevention bureaus, and federal agencies in protecting lives and property. 
Now therefore, I, Robert T. Barnett, Mayor of the Village of Downers Grove, do hereby proclaim the month of May 2023 as Building Safety Month. Accordingly, I encourage our citizens to join with their communities by participating in Building Safety Month activities, focusing on energy and innovation, building safety careers, disaster preparedness, and water safety. Dated the second day of May 2023, Downers Grove, Illinois. And I'd like to ask Stan to come up and accept this. Item four on our agenda tonight is minutes of previous council meetings. Is there a motion? Mayor, I move that the council adopt the April 18th, 2023 minutes as presented. Second. Any comments from the council? Questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It passes unanimously. Um, item five on our agenda tonight is a consent agenda. Is there a motion concerning our consent agenda? Mayor, I move that the council adopt the consent agenda as presented. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That too passes unanimously. Just like that, we're on item six of our active agenda tonight. This is the portion of the meeting where we plan to take action on items previously discussed at least one time, sometimes multiple times prior. Is there a motion concerning an ordinance amendment? Mayor, I move that the council adopt an ordinance providing for an amendment to ordinance number 5891 in the Village of Downers Grove budget for fiscal year 2022 as presented. Second. Are there any comments or questions from the audience on this item? Comments or questions from the council? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Is there a motion concerning H.R. Green? Mayor, I move that the council adopt a resolution authorizing execution of an amendment to the agreement between the Village of Downers Grove and H.R. Green Incorporated as presented. Second. Any comments or questions from the audience on this item? Comments or questions from the council? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are moving through, guys. Just trying to get to the fun stuff tonight. <laughs> Item 7. Is there a motion to adjourn? Mayor, I move to adjourn sine die. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are temporarily adjourned. I state your name. Aye, Robert Barnett. Having been appointed to the office of mayor in the village of Downers Grove. Having been appointed to the office of mayor in the village of Downers Grove. In the county of DuPage. In the county of DuPage. To solemnly swear. To solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of the office of mayor. Of the office of mayor. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations again. Thank you. State your name. I, Leslie Sadowski Fugit, having been appointed to the Office of Commissioner in the Village of Downers Grove, having been appointed to the Office of Commissioner in the Village of Downers Grove, in the County of DuPage, in the County of DuPage, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that I will faithfully discharge, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of Office of Commissioner, the duties of office of commissioner according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability
I am ready. Okay. I state your name. I'm Martin T. Tully. Having been elected to the office of Commissioner of the Village of Downers Grove. Having been elected to the office of Commissioner in the Village of Downers Grove. In the County of DuPage. In the County of DuPage. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of the officer of, of the office of commission, Commissioner according to the best of my ability. Of the office of Commissioner to the best of my abilities. Congratulations. Thank you. Stand over here, I think, a little bit. Okay, go ahead. I state your name. I, Michael Davenport. Having been elected to the office of commissioner. Having been elected to the office of commissioner. In the village of Downers Grove. In the village of Downers Grove. In the county of DuPage. In the county of DuPage. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of the Office of Commissioner. Of the Office of Commissioner. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. situated that actually is a lot of fun guys and thank you all again for being here Rose would you please call the roll Mayor Barnett here Commissioner Jose here Commissioner Sadowski Fugit here Commissioner Gil Martin here Commissioner Glover here Commissioner Tully here Commissioner Davenport here welcome everybody Item 10 on our agenda tonight are public comments. This is the portion of the meeting where we entertain public comments on items not on tonight's agenda. If anyone has a public comment, please come on down to the podium and let us know what's on your mind. Okay. Everybody just wants to move on with the evening. I agree. Take it easy on the rookies, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Item 11 this evening is the Mayor's Report. Just have a few words um, really about tonight and about the go forward. So thank you all for being here with us tonight. Whether you're here in person or watching at home, we really do appreciate you being with us. Four years ago, we started the new council by remembering that the reason we're all seated here on the dais is to serve our community. And that remains true today as ever. Thank you again to Commissioners Wallace and Colavaney for your service over the years. Your service extended well beyond the walls of Village Hall, and our community is better for it. You have much to be proud of, and in turn, we have much to be thankful for. Congratulations to Commissioner Leslie sadowski fugit Commissioner Martin Tully, Commissioner Mike Davenport for choosing to serve and for being elected with votes of confidence from our community. And to my colleagues, Greg Jose, Danny Glover, and Chris Gilmartin, thank you for your continued commitment to Downers Grove. It has been an honor to serve with each of you and I look forward to continuing to do so. Indeed, I'm looking forward to continuing to serve our community as a village council team. Every time we meet, I'm reminded by colleagues, our staff, the residents here, or those watching at home, that Downers Grove is defined by its people. What makes our community great is us. Our challenges are ours to face. Our opportunities are opportunities to benefit us all. A community that values all its members is a community best ready to face and to form its future. We are better when we work together, and working together is our best chance to ensure a future ever greater than the past. It's been said that voting is an expression of our commitment to ourselves, one another, this country, and this world. Every two years we vote in Downers Grove, and in doing so, we affirm our commitment to one another. 
The campaigns that lead to elections can be difficult as ideas compete for acceptance. But through them, we all learn and grow, and ultimately, elections offer opportunities for restarts and new beginnings. So no matter who you voted for, please know your village council values you as an individual and values your input. And rest assured, our service to Downers Grove looks forward, not back. The more involved we all are, the better our community is. We are better able to serve one another, better able to encourage one another, better able to include one another. When I began my service as part of the Village Council a few years back, we talked about building a better future for our village and how we might weather uncertainties. Four years ago as your new mayor, I talked about continuing the good work of previous mayors, councils, staff, and residents while creating new traditions and redefining what was needed for lasting change to improve our community. I promise to welcome change and take difficult conversations head on. We've done that. Continuous improvement has been and will remain our focus. Improving municipal services, improving village impacts on our shared environment, improving diversity and inclusion and awareness of the differences that make us each real. Improving the transparency of local government, improving the infrastructure we all depend on, improving accessibility to and safety for all as we traverse our community, improving the quality of our public spaces, improving fiscal strength of our village so we can continue to be there when needed. Continuous improvement is the mark of our village. Change is hard, but it is our one true constant, and I promise to work hard to ensure those changes are opportunities seized, not challenges avoided. I promise that decisions, especially the tough ones, are fair, transparent, and will treat all equally under the law. It is my goal to continue to ensure our local government is practical, effective, and accessible, and that we reflect the standards and expectations of our community, providing a real value for all those who live, work, and play in Downers Grove. Thank you to all the friends and neighbors for providing me the opportunity to continue to serve our community. Thank you especially to my wife, Carrie, and our children, Bobby, Anna, and Will, for their commitment to fitting service into our family life. And thank you to my parents, Bob and Janet, for your continued support, encouragement, and example. I'm humbled and grateful for this opportunity, and I look forward to the next four years working together for Downers Grove. <laughs> Item 12, council member reports. It's an opportunity for council members to report out on things going on in the community or tell us what else is on their mind for the moment. I think we'll start with the rookies. <laughs> with that, we'll go to Mike Davenport. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> you didn't fool me by looking that way. I, so I, um, no prepared speech here, just a heartfelt thanks to the people of Downers Grove for trusting me in this role. And I'm really looking forward to getting on with the service. And uh, with that in mind, uh, uh, May is um, Mental Health Awareness Month. Uh, and there's some, some wonderful things going on around town sponsored by GRIT2 and Navigate Ad, uh, Adolescence. Um, I especially like the idea of no social Sundays. Now, I'm, I'm not a big social media guy to begin with, but it, that sure makes a lot of sense to me, I think, for people to set something aside. And, and, um, and we've had some, uh, in all seriousness, there's been you know, some, some tragedies uh, recently here in town and and we're all affected um, you know by mental health uh, issues in one way or another and so I encourage you to to look into this and you go to uh, you matter here dot org to find out more about that and um, Commissioner former Commissioner Wallace will appreciate this uh, June 22nd is 51 days away <laughs> that is the start of grow fest so mark mark your calendars that's all, Mr. Mayor. Thanks, Mike. Danny? I have no prepared speech, Mayor, but I just want to congratulate you on your re-election. I look forward to another four years under your leadership uh, and congratulate Commissioner sadowski Fugit on her re-election and look forward to working with uh, our new commissioners. Certainly we'll miss uh, Commissioner Wallace and, and uh, Colavaney, but I'm sure that we'll be seeing a lot of them around town. So that's it. Thank you. Leslie? Yeah, I also have no prepared remarks, but um, I just want to thank the Village of Downer, Downers Grove again for um, putting your trust in me and faith, and hopefully I will earn that every single day that I'm working for you over the next four years. Um, we'll definitely miss Commissioner Colavaney and Commissioner Wallace's um, steady leadership. Um, I'm excited to serve again with my colleagues and to get to know Commissioner Tully and Commissioner Davenport. 
Um, I also, again, want to thank my family. My husband, unfortunately, could not be here. He is at a conference that happens once every three years. And it just happened to just fall smack dab right in the middle of this. Um, but at least my daughter, Madeline, is, allowed, is able to be here with me. And I want to thank my village. Um, as I've talked up here a lot about, um, I'm originally from Ohio, and all of my family is still there. And so my friends and, and those who live here in Downers Grove and the surrounding area are my village. So thank you so much for coming here and showing up and watching my giggling child for me <laughs> while I can continue my meeting. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Martin. Good evening, Mayor. Good evening. It may have come as no surprise to you that I do have some prepared remarks. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few things. Um, I, I, I didn't know how to start this either Welcome back, Cotter, or <laughs> what Yogi Berra said is deja vu all over again, one of the two. Uh, but all kidding aside, I am truly grateful to the community for returning me to the Village Council. Uh, I'm thrilled to have the chance to serve our terrific village again, uh, marking this as my third tour of duty on the Village Council. It, it's a very nostalgic moment for me because uh, I, I know I don't look this old, but uh, I first was elected as a Village Commissioner and served beginning in May of 2001. That was over 20 years ago. And what's nostalgic about it, and thank you, Mayor, is that this is exactly where I sat uh, when I first took a seat up here in May of 2001. So it's, it's very nice to be in a comfortable spot. I, I had to reflect on those 20 plus years and some stats jumped out at me. I've served with eight different village councils, now four mayors, I'm including myself, 20 different village commissioners, four village managers, two village attorneys, uh, numerous police chiefs, fire chiefs, and public works directors, and many, many more. Uh, I'm really looking forward to working with this council um, and all the staff here at 801 and beyond throughout the village. Um, my congratulations, and it's so nice to see so many friends and familiar faces in the audience and beyond. And, and my congratulations as well to Mayor Barnett uh, Commissioner Stowski Fugate and to Commissioner uh, Davenport on their recent election, and I look forward to working with my other colleagues as well. Um, over the last two decades, uh, we have seen quite a few changes and challenges in the village of Downers Grove, uh, but they have been by far very positive, uh, and I'm glad to have played a small part in it, as Mayor Barnett said, to have uh, worked with uh, many different administrations over time to, to move our community forward and um, be part of that continuous improvement. I'm very excited to work with this Village Council to continue to be part of and to build upon those past successes for the continued betterment of our community. Now, you'll have to give me a little grace here because I was out of town and unable to be here a couple weeks ago and make some comments to uh, two dear friends and our departed commissioners, uh, Culvaney and, and Wallace. So if you'll bear with me, I'll be very brief and then a couple of community announcements and I promise I'll be done. But uh, I'm just using up the time that you spared us earlier. Um, Commissioner Colvania, deep respect for uh, Rich and his journey of public service uh, here in Downers Grove, both through local not-for-profits, through service on village boards, and ultimately on the village council. Uh, Rich has always served with grace and professionalism, always been mindful, yet open-minded, and very, very thorough. Uh, Rich always was a model of clear communication and clear reasoning in every decision on every occasion. I know Rich will miss deeply serving Downers Grove as much as the community will miss him. But best of luck to you on the next chapter of your own journey. Commissioner Wallace, uh, I recall when Nicole interviewed for the appointment to fill a vacancy on the Village Council, and I'm, I'm not quite sure that you expected what was going to happen when you walked into the antechamber back here and sat down for a conversation, uh, but it happened fast and you grew into the role quickly, and then you quickly excelled at it and made it your own. Um, your heartfelt desire to always do the right thing was present in every moment, and sometimes it tore you up inside because you were so passionate about doing what you thought was right, and that's to be greatly respected. You've always been a huge champion and promoter of the village, and um, you've earned the time away from the dais and with your family, uh, but we know that your community spirit and your involvement in Downers Grove will not waver. Uh, both of you, I think, probably could have served uh, longer and in other capacities, but you know, it's never too late to come back. I've heard there's some people that come back. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So thank you for that. And then just a couple of quick community announcements. Um, first of all, I appreciate Commissioner Davenport mentioning that it's uh, National uh, Mental Health Month. Uh, clearly, recent events have put into stark contrast the importance of supporting resources for those struggling with mental illness. I know many here know of NAMI DuPage. Uh, NAMI DuPage was founded by a group of parents in 1983 as an affiliate of the National Alliance on Mental Illness, a nationwide mental health advocacy organization which is dedicated to improving the quality of lives of people affected by mental illness. Uh, they are having a Shine a Light annual spring gala on May 6th beginning at 5.30 at the Chicago Marriott Naperville. Uh, if you'd like to support their mission and their cause, it would be greatly appreciated and also something that would be greatly felt in the community and beyond. And then second, uh, even more local and in a similar vein, uh, I know everyone's familiar with Hope's Front Door, uh, which often serves as a first responder to neighbors who are facing financial or medical crises and plays an integral role in ensuring the well-being of individuals, families, and our overall community. Uh, Hope's Front Door is hosting their Hands of Hope luncheon on May 16th from 11.30 until 2 p.m. Um, at the Seven Bridges Golf Club. And again, this is an amazing organization that does a great deal with very little resources and benefits so many people who are our neighbors. They aren't some far-flung individuals. They are right here. Uh, and then even though Commissioner Davenport uh, stole my thunder, I would be remiss for not returning a tradition of, yes, there are just 51 days remaining until Rotary Grove Fest. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Chris. Thank you, Mayor. Um, first and foremost, Nicole and, and Rich, uh, last week we had the opportunity to share a lot of thoughts, but you will be missed. And uh, I think we're all excited to see what's next for you. Um, Commissioner Davenport, Commissioner Tully, welcome aboard. I'm looking forward to working with you closely. Um, Mayor Barnett, Leslie, congratulations both on your reelection. I just want to say that now that Commissioner Glover and I are no longer the new guys, we'd love the code to the bathroom. That would be great. All jokes aside, congratulations, everybody. I'm looking forward to getting a lot done. Take care. Thank you. Greg. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to join in the chorus of thank yous to Nicole and Rich. <clears throat> we are truly a better community for your service. Um, to Mayor Barnett and Commissioner sadowski fugit congratulations. <clears throat> Excuse me, it has been a, a tremendous honor serving with both of you. Um, and I know Commissioner Davenport and Commissioner Tully uh, bring a vast amount of experience, and uh, I look forward to your contributions. And uh, you know, I, when I started, I spent six years down in Mike's seat. Um, so I, you know, it, it's kind of you know, old hat to turn left and see Martin uh, just a couple of seats <laughs> down, which means it's probably just a matter of time before I end up calling you there. <laughs> it's going to take some time to, to get used to calling you commissioner, but welcome back. Thank you. Uh, but again, just looking forward to continuing to serve the community and uh, get some good work done. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. With that, is there a motion to adjourn? Mayor, I move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you all and good night.